heartiest congratulations ICGV China for celebrating uh, this symposium at a China Medical Expo. And, and I'm truly delighted to be a part of this ICGB International Forum of Biotechnology Development. So let me um, continue with the same theme, making a difference through biotechnology. That is, that is the theme of the conference and that is one of the main theme of ICGB family. I, my name is Naveen Khanna. I head the translational health group at ICGB New Delhi. This is a beautiful building which is given to us by, by the government of India. And <clears throat> the focus of my presentations is that the vaccines are the focus. You know, we do understand now because of COVID pandemic, we all know that vaccines are the most cost effective public health tools. And fortunately, India is a vaccine production hub. And I'm going to talk about a novel dengue vaccine, which is being developed at ICGB and other translational efforts of ICGB to strengthen our, our fight against the dengue menace. Um, this is a picture of Morris Hillman, who I regard as a father of vaccinology. Maurice Hillman produced 34 vaccines in his lifetime. So, which is a, which is a great achievement. And, you know, so making vaccines was not that difficult. And we all are alive because of Maurice Hillman. All expanded program of immunization. In fact, each one of us have eight of his vaccines designed by Maurice Hillman. So we owe our life to Maurice Hillman. And we know how fast the COVID vaccine was also made. So <clears throat> India is a world leader in vaccine manufacturing. We supply more than half of the global demand of vaccines. 65% of children in the world receive at least one vaccine made in India. We have an annual production capacity of more than 8 billion vaccine dosage and the World Health Organization acknowledges India's vaccine production as a global asset. And as I said, I'm going to touch upon ICGB, how we are developing a new dengue vaccine, which have remained elusive for over two or three decades. So just for an introduction, the dengue is a, is a common knowledge in our country. It's a, it's a serious public health threat this dengue fever is spread by dengue virus, which is carried by mosquitoes known as Aedes aegypti. And this fever can exist as mild, moderate, and severe, just like any other disease. So in mild dengue, many of us would just have fever and headache. And many of us, you know, just recover through this. But for some reason, the, this mild dengue becomes uh, severe dengue, you know, it's, it turns into dengue hemorrhagic syndrome and you see a hematoma here, external hematoma on the forearm. And sudden, this is known as dengue hemorrhagic fever. And suddenly, you know, dengue hemorrhagic fever can turn into dengue shock syndrome, where you start bleeding from, from, from various places and you have internal bleeding and you lose a patient within 24 hours. So dengue creates a lot of panic uh, among people. And China, you know, I, I was surprised to see the dengue cases continue to increase in China. Is it the part of global warming? Maybe yes, because now the mosquito, the, the dengue carrying mosquito is, is being seen in colder countries, in, including some parts of China, some parts of, of, of Canada. And here is a map which is telling you from 1990 up to 2019, how the global footprint of, of our, our, the dengue footprint in China uh, continues to increase just like globally. So it's, 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 it's ICGB, all, most of member states of ICGB are affected by dengue. And of course, India remains an epicenter of dengue virus infection. And this map shows you um, 
the, the, the area of the country is shown as, as the disease burden. And you can see the uh, India looks really big here because we contribute a large uh, um, burden of dengue in the world. So there are four viruses which cause dengue. It's dengue one, two, three, and four. These are very close relative of Zika also. About half the world population is at, at risk of dengue. Uh, more than 1 million new infections every day. And we know that there's no drug or a broad use vaccine available for dengue. This I have taken from the literature and which says that uh, between 2008 and 18, more than 85% of all domestic dengue cases in China occurred in Guangdong province. And this province in June 2014 had more than 45,000 infected people. Um, we know how the presence of a virus can affect travel. We all are aware that because of COVID, there are so many restrictions. We know how Zika created so many travel restrictions few years back. And there is a site which, which advises uh, travelers. This is called International Association for, for Medical Assistance to Travelers. And it says that um, China is endemic in China and risk is present in both urban and rural areas and, and, tra and transmission occurs between June and November. So it is very important to control dengue because, because it is spreading so that even the travel restriction for countries do not happen. Um, with this background, I hope that I have sensitized you that dengue is, is a major problem. It's a major public health problem, not only in India, but in many, many countries. And so uh, ICGB has focused on almost all translational research uh, on dengue. That includes a dengue diagnostic test, a drug against dengue, a vaccine against dengue. So I'm going to show you maybe one or two, a few slides on each one of them. So this is the first slide on dengue diagnostics. We believe that this dengue day one test, which was designed by ICGB New Delhi and has been given to an Indian manufacturer who, who has successfully launched this test in the market. This is the best way to fight dengue because it can detect dengue fever from day one, dengue infection from day one of fever. It detects all dengue serotype one, two, and three, and four does not cross react with Zika or any other related virus. Dengue has four viruses, so you can get dengue repeatedly in your lifetime. So it is important for the doctor to understand, do you have the dengue first time or are you getting it second time? So it's called primary dengue or a repeat dengue. Why is that important? Because primary dengue is normally not that serious, but secondary dengue is serious. The doctor must know that, do you have a secondary dengue? And the test that we have designed can differentiate between the primary and the secondary dengue. And the good thing about this test is that it can even detect the presence of dengue virus in the infected mosquitoes. So if you take a mosquito and just crush it with a drop of water and put that gemish on this test, if the mosquito carries dengue, this test will show you, you, you know, the mosquito is carrying dengue. So the, you know, the health authorities can be warned on this. This is the close up of the dengue day one test. You can carry it in your pocket. It is stable at room temperature and sensitivity is excellent. Specificity is great and depend, you know, it can show four or five lines on, on, on the test. Depending on where the line is present, it can tell you, do you have dengue right now? Or did you have dengue a month back? Or even if you ever had dengue in your lifetime, even if you don't have a fever now. So it's a very broad use dengue test. Now, before that, before we made this test, the, the dengue test would come. So this is a world map where in the colored area shows the dengue where it is endemic. And India, of course, shows. But the dengue tests were being made from countries where dengue is not a major disease. For example, in Australia and US and in from South Korea, they used to come to, to India. But once we have launched this test successfully, ICGB was able to reverse these arrows. Now the test made in India goes globally to other countries like Thailand, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, several country, uh, nations in Africa, 
even Canada, US. So we are very excited that ICGB was able to turn this table around instead of importing, but exporting the tests. It's continuing with the same theme on, on translation focus on dengue. I'm going to show you one slide on botanical drug against dengue. And so this single slide shows work of about maybe 10 people over a period of 15 years. The bottom line is that ICGB was able to design and develop a drug which was based on Ayurveda, the traditional Indian knowledge, but along with the new novel bioassay guided approach. So lab um, expertise as well as the traditional expertise was married and we were able to develop a phytopharmaceutical, a plant-based drug named as AQCH for the treatment of dengue. This work is done in collaboration with uh, Indian drug manufacturer Sun Pharma. So Sun Pharma and ICGB um, are developing this botanical drug against dengue. And I'm delighted to inform you the phase two trials, human trials have just started this, this, this month. Um, so now my last part of the presentation is on a designer vaccine. You know, the dengue vaccine, as I mentioned in the beginning, has remained elusive despite three decades of research work. Here is a photograph taken from Philippine Star in 2018. The, all these parents are carrying photographs of their children who apparently died because of vaccine-induced disease. So, um, you know, so the Dengvexia, which was introduced in Philippines, is, is now banned in, in, in many places. It is only allowed by FDA between the age group of nine and 16 who already have dengue, are in nine to 45 who already have dengue. So if you never had dengue, this is not the, the vaccine. Uh, so dengue vaccine has remained elusive. The question is, why did dengue vaccine remain so elusive? You know, while making, Maurice Selman made 34 vaccines and the COVID vaccine was made so quickly so vaccine have a potential to enhance the disease severity. That is, a, that is a problem with dengue vaccine. Why does it do it? It has four viruses, four serotypes. These are RNA viruses. So these RNA viruses change. So you have multiple genotypes. If this combination was not lethal, we know that the virus seems to breathe. It exists in a fully infectious form and partially infectious form and even non-infectious form. It is only the fully infectious form which will give you disease. Partially infectious, non-infectious are kind of okay. They are not able to do anything. But if they are coupled with antibodies, so these immune complexes, and where would these antibodies come? From the primary dengue. That's why the secondary dengue becomes serious because in the secondary dengue, the antibodies from the primary first infection can make all these partially infectious and non-infectious viruses gain entry into the cells and make them fully infectious and your virus load increases. So what has ICGB done? We have designed, we have moved away from the whole virus-based technology, which are conventional strategies, wherein you mix four viruses and you get, you know, mixed response. Some good antibodies, maybe 10%, which I call them hero antibodies, and then 90% of really are disease enhancing antibodies to them, I call them villain antibodies. Villain are always a problem. So ICGB vaccine has been designed in such a way that they will teach the human system only to make the hero antibodies in absence of disease enhancing villain antibodies. So we have a single virus like particle, which is expressed in yeast. So it's highly affordable, safe, and it is efficacious because it does not, it only makes protective antibody. Uh, it does not enhance the disease. The proof of concept in, in monkeys have been established. Patent has been granted in several countries. Technology has been transferred to our partner, Sun Pharma, and phase one studies are supposed to be initiated very soon. So the bottom line is that ICGB in collaboration with Sun Pharma and the government of India is developing a safe, effective, and affordable genetically engineered vaccine for use in all age group, endemic or non-endemic areas. So whether you are dengue exposed or unexposed, this is the vaccine which works for you. So this is the way it shows that natural infection 
gives you very low level of hero antibodies, a lot of villain antibodies, which are shown here as yellow or orange, but ICGB vaccination turns the table around and what you get is protective antibodies and in absence, protective means hero antibodies and there are no villain, villain antibodies. And we are able to do all this work because of talented PhD students, which become uh, come to ICGEB to our lab. We are very fortunate that ICGB is able to attract all these great students. Apart from the students, we have, I want to thank my collaborators from, from US and from you know, Global Vaccines, Emory Vaccine Center, University of North Carolina, Mount Sinai, and a lot of my commercial partner from Sun, like Dr. Altaf Lal and Dr. Pointek, Dr. Walker, and of course, the funding from Department of Biotechnology, the NIH, the Wellcome Trust, and the BIREC from Government of India. So thank you very much for your time. And I would be delighted to answer any questions.